I grew up, you know, my father was a famous interior designer called David Hicks, and he was absolutely obsessed with going to museums and looking at stuff. But he was one of those people who doesn't have very much um, patience, whereas I'm the exact opposite. I work alone in a workshop, just making mad stuff on my own. It means I've gone from being, you know, I trained as an architect, then I was an interior designer, and I gradually turned into a sort of strange old man in a workshop, making weird stuff on his own. Um, and, and so it's all very much about, about the hand making and things that I can do alone. Partly inspired by years ago working in Jaipur in India, making a jewellery collection and visiting stone cutters there. I, I had a, a stainless steel armature made, which is, sits inside it to give it some strength because I carve these things out of a terrible sort of resin foam, which is a kind of polyurethane foam and it, it feels very like that that green awful green stuff that florists used to use and now they don't you know except that this is is waterproof i like things that you know here we've got a circle but obviously it's made up of all of these random forms none of which have any sort of repeat geometry or proper geometry um, and and i literally just you know draw draw, draw them out and, and piece them together like a sort of jigsaw no, for years I've been making these small sort of tabletop totem sculptures and um, over, over there three of them have these bits of what I call elephant wood which are it's, it's, it's wood that I picked up off the ground in Kenya. So I wanted to make these vases and so these again are the same resin so they're, they're actually very light. They, they look as if they're immensely heavy but actually you can sort of throw them around um, and, and then they're built around a glass cylinder 